So I get asked all the time, Katie, how do I turn my vision into reality and move into unstoppable momentum? Well, in this episode, I'm going to share with you how to do that with my soul goal mapping method and dive deeper into aligning your goals with your soul and making sure that your energy is aligned for where you're moving to. Stick with me here. Join me on this episode. Hey there, I'm Katie Joy, the Global Butterfly, founder of theglobalbutterfly.com and Awaken with Love and Rise with Pure Joy. Well, today I'm going to share with you some of the secret steps to success with soul aligned momentum, helping you to align your energy so that you can have beautiful, rich, juicy goals manifest in your life. One of the biggest things is making sure that you have energy alignment. Why? Well, it's because you don't want just to have a quick you know, very fast success that falls over. You want to have long lasting success, transformational change. And that's what happens when you get aligned with your energy. It also is a really important concept that I address very deeply in the Soul Goal Mapping Challenge. I take you on a journey to look at the four quadrants of energy and looking at, are you coming from a fear frequency and the two quadrants with that around a victim consciousness or a hustle and grind consciousness, which is perpetuated over and over and over and over in society and so much of the goal setting world. And it drives me nuts, but it is a, a way that can get you some results and get into achievement, but it'll also pretty much guarantee burnout along with it and, or getting to where you want to be at the top of the mountain, so to speak, but then not feeling fulfilled, or it comes with a compromise of sacrificing some inner peace. Whereas there is another two levels of consciousness to approach that is aligned with your energy where you're moving more into a surrender situation where you're tuned in with your intuition and also more of a oneness, a holistic approach where you're coming in with body, mind and soul. And it's a very different level of consciousness. It's a way of being so that the results that you take or sorry, the results that you get are manifested through the right actions aligned Uh, with what you are taking in alignment with your soul goals versus just you know push and shove and grind and and do really you know difficult work and make it hard and that's not fun right it sounds it doesn't sound fun as I'm saying it It doesn't feel fun (laughs) so energy alignment is really crucial to making sure that you are manifesting long-lasting success with your soul aligned goals Another really wonderful way that I take you through energy alignment for unstoppable momentum and long lasting success is looking at clearing the energy blocks. And you see a lot of people just look at the behavior or the results and they just, well, this is what I need to do. And, you know, well, I haven't got the results yet. So maybe, well, maybe I suck or maybe I can't do this or maybe I just need to do more. It seems to swing both of those ends of the spectrum. Whereas when you're actually coming in from the awareness around energy alignment, you're looking much deeper. And so I take you through the awareness of identifying the energies that block you and how to unblock them, particularly looking at the energies, how they're expressed in your body, whereas a lot of people might have some very limited version of it. I feel anxiety. I feel stressed. I feel afraid. I feel sad. I feel mad. (laughs) There's a lot more to it. And I share with you in the Soul Goal Mapping Challenge how to uncover and identify a lot of those physical energies that are still not the root cause. I also take you back deeper and deeper, looking into the emotional energetics of it as well. And then the thought energetics, because everything begins with thought. And I go way deep in with my background as a paramedic and in chiropractic care and even psychology. I share with you a lot of information around the nervous system and how that's playing a role in the energetic alignment of whether you are succeeding or not. So that's a really big one that I love to share with you. And I go quite deep into that over the five days in the Soul Goal Mapping Challenge that is my unique method in helping you to connect with what you are creating for long lasting results in manifesting. Another unique method that is mine that I've been creating and is still evolving is addressing the issue around affirmations. You see, a lot of people say affirmations don't work. Well, in some cases that's true. But have you ever made an affirmation and then you rejected it? Like it didn't feel like it fit? Like you pushed it away? That's because there's a deeper part of you as part of your identity. It is saying that's not who I am. 
now in my current version of reality. And so you're not connecting with the future version of yourself. So I use a unique method called my bridging affirmations that help you get there. And it's more involved in the becoming experience rather than the I am now experience. It allows your brain to actually connect with where you're moving towards and start to become it, to go, oh, I'll accept that on board. I'm becoming that. And so it's a really useful method that I have created and still evolving and trademarking that helps you to move more into momentum really fast because you're able to connect with that version of yourself that is existing that is already manifesting that which you're calling in. You can't get what you haven't got unless you make some changes. So you're going to need to let go of some of the versions of the old versions of yourself, your identities, your beliefs, your stories. And that can be a bit scary without a bridge to to cross and help you make that journey. So that's a really useful method that I go deep in and explain in my soul goal mapping challenge as well. Really fun. And it's definitely one of the highlights for the majority of people who come through the challenge. So I have so many real life examples of people who've already come through the soul goal mapping challenge where energy alignment has manifested so quickly. Take Diana, for example. She's a travel consultant and she knew that she wanted to attract some more higher luxury level clients. And when she came through the Soul Goal Mapping Challenge, she set her intention to have a $5,000 client. And by day two, she managed that because she aligned her energy. She was able to to, uh, approach a conversation that was very different in her approach because she was identifying with a new version of herself that was already existing that is allowing her to be uh, more relaxed and attracting and with much more ease was able to manifest that experience. Here's another client where I had a friend, David, who actually came through and he said to us in the group, he says, I've had this client who hasn't paid an invoice in many, many months and refuses to pay. Well, again, by day two, we actually had a message from David in the group that said, I can't believe it. The client has paid. You see, you are creating the energy flow or block. And so when you understand the energetics and the alignments of energy and energetic mechanics, then you're able to make the shifts required that allows that allows the energy to flow for you again and uh, have a much more graceful experience. Another really fun example is Claire Julia. And she said within, within a couple of days that her partner had noticed her mood had really shifted. And that was amazing because it meant that she was able to express herself more uh, gracefully in communication. She was more focused in her work with her website design and having better conversations with clients as well and creating more accounts. Now, what's really cool about this is that when you actually get your energy in focus with understanding the energetic mechanics, then you're able to have your mindset dictate your mood instead of your mood dictating your mindset. That right there is a golden nugget because most people let their mood determine their actions. And you actually have the opportunity to control your mood, to determine what that is and raise your frequency so that you feel good more often. And the truth is when you feel good, you take better action and you're able to move. You won't sit and procrastinate or mull and, you know, be in overwhelm or any of the other actions that don't produce the results that you desire. If you really resonated with these and you've really enjoyed this episode, then my invitation to you is to come along and join us in the next five-day Soul Goal Mapping Challenge. It's an incredible experience. It's epic. It's my method that has helped hundreds and hundreds of people to be able to transform their lives with long-lasting, successful change. And it can do that for you too. So if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, a coach, an artist, a a consultant, or anyone who wants to be able to go to the next level, then this is an opportunity for you. There is both the free opportunity and a VIP version. You can see all the information on the landing page, but go there now, click the link down below, come and join us. And I look forward to supporting you to move into massive momentum with your soul goal mapping challenge experience. I'll see you in there. And until next time, lots of love, light, manifesting miracles, magic, and more. From my heart to yours, on my way out, your way out, please hit the subscribe, like and share and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.